High five. One, two, three, four, five. Rich's top five. All right, here we go. Ultimate under the radar difference makers sponsored by BMW. This was an X factor I rejected from Steve Mariucci because I wanted to give the viewers of our pregame show on NFL Network somebody that you could see in the end zone or see defensively make a play. But this guy, I believe, winds up potentially being one of the big difference makers of Super Bowl 58 if Joe Tooney cannot answer the bell at the guard position for the Kansas City Chiefs. In order to win this game, the 49ers must put pressure on Patrick Mahomes like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did in their Super Bowl win over Mahomes back in the day. And Nick Allegretti filled in so well for Joe Tooney in the AFC Championship game. Mahomes needs this sort of protection again. And if Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards-Alaire are going to run the football with success and Tooney's not in there, this guy is going to have to be a difference maker. So keep an eye, if you want to, on the offensive. If you're an offensive line, keep an eye on an offensive line. Great. The problem is... If you hear his name over the loudspeaker, you know, <laughs> it's then wrong. it's yeah. it's a problem. Okay? So, Nick Allegretti's number five on this list. Number four on this list is the only guy in the game who played in the previous game that these two played in the Super Bowl, but for the other team. Oh. You have Mahomes, Kelsey, Austin Ryder, a center, Miko Hardman, and Chris Jones. Those are five Kansas City Chiefs who were starters from Super Bowl 54 back in the day. You have Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Kyle Juszczyk, Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Dre Greenlaw, starters for the 49ers who started in Super Bowl 54 against the Kansas City Chiefs. However, only one player started for Kansas City in Super Bowl 54 and is going to start for San Francisco in Super Bowl 58, and his name is Charvarius Ward. And I'm putting him just because, just because he is a difference maker, just because he played for the other team the last time they played each other. <laughs> and you got to figure he wants to make a play in the worst way. Yeah. And Good also, one. he's just the fourth player, but the first defender to start in a Super Bowl against a team that they previously started for in a Super Bowl. The others all lost Brandon Cooks, who did super who started Super Bowl 53 with the Rams, Rams. against New England. Jermaine Wiggins, who started Super Bowl 38 with Carolina against New England. And Craig Morton, Super Bowl 12 Craig with Morton. Denver versus Dallas. All three of them lost. So Traverius Ward wants to be the ultimate difference maker to be completely under the radar to actually win under these circumstances. Look at you. That's why I got to throw him on this list. Good one. Okay. Number three on this list is Kansas City linebacker Drew Tranquil. He might make a play. Again, a lot of folks will be focusing on Nick Bolton because he's right there in the middle of this defense. And last year, he's the one who picked up the football when it was placed on the ground by Jalen Hurts. But I'm choosing Drew Tranquil because he signed as a free agent with Kansas City this offseason after three years with the Los Angeles Chargers and he posted this past weekend a t- a text screen grab from his phone a text from Andy Reid when Tranquil was making his decision to where he was going to play his football this year and Andy Reid basically was saying hey basically just let me know which direction you want to go if you need to talk my phone is on ring Till then, see red, which he capitalized the R in red, and think Super Bowls with a wink emoji. And he wrote back, thanks, coach. I'll call you if any questions pop up today as we process the decision. And he he wrote back, perfect. So if he's saying to him, think Super Bowls, and he then decides, I'm playing for Kansas City, and then they make the Super Bowl, You don't think he's buying every last ounce that's being sold to Drew Tranquil? And you don't think he's going to try and make a play in this Super Bowl? Good one. That alone. Because, again, think about how his postseason ended last year. He was up 20 in the wild card round with the Chargers. 
and didn't even advance. Now he's on Kansas City. He was told to think Super Bowls. He's now in a Super Bowl. He tweeted that out with the line, seeing red and thinking Super Bowl. He did that this weekend. That's why he's number three on the list. Number two on this list, now we're going to start going a little bit of X's and O's here. And I want to go under the radar because this is the ultimate under the radar difference maker. I think at the wide receiver position. Rasheed Rice is way above the radar screen. Oh, he's a star now. And Kadarius Tony doesn't suffice as under the radar because he's he's basically under the bench right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Marquez Valdez-Scantling. I'm going to say this guy maybe who, who wrapped up the game. Done it two weeks in a row. He wrapped up the game against the Bills. He wrapped up the game against the Ravens. And I'm thinking his confidence is at an all-time high. And maybe they just don't wait to the end. Maybe they go up top to kind of like start. Ooh. Maybe they, they just kind of shock the system on the 49ers. And say, okay, you know, you think it's all about Kelsey, all about Rasheed Rice, all about running the football. And we don't have Tyree Kill anymore. So you think we can't take the top of the defense off? I think maybe we go there. So that's number two. And then number one on my list right here is a San Francisco 49er. Now, I think he's he's above, he's on the radar screen because he's a Pro Bowl this, Pro Bowl that, right? That sort of thing. But I'm just wondering here if Kyle Juszczyk isn't the most under-the-radar offensive player who starts for the San Francisco 49ers. And I'm going to go with Kyle Juszczyk right here as the most under-the-radar difference maker. Running it, catching it. Everyone's going to be looking for McCaffrey and Debo. Everyone's going to be looking for this, that, and the other wearing red. Maybe you look for the fullback. Mm. And that's my most under-the-radar ultimate under-the-radar difference maker. You think we need one more? Okay. All right, we'll get one more. Okay. I'll give you one more from the Kansas City defense. His name is Justin Reed. I'm going Justin Reed because of the fact that he's out there playing safety and maybe he's going to make a play and he's not just going to be out there maybe trying to snipe Brock Purdy. He can also sack you. As a matter of fact, he made such a big play in the AFC Championship game that I termed it a huge, massively huge sack. (laughs) And so... (laughs) Justin Reed That's fair. showed you he's got a massively huge sack in him. And I will go with Justin Reed as one more here. <laughs> Just to, sorry to make you laugh with your back pain. <laughs> right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Well done, Get sir. It. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 